Hey there gang and welcome to this mobile first responsive web design series with CSS Grid. All right then, so in this playlist, we're gonna be creating a responsive website from scratch using a mobile first approach. Now by mobile first, I just mean that we're gonna be coding the website with mobile screen sizes in mind at first and then move on to larger screen sizes like tablets, laptops, and then finally desktop browsers. Now we're gonna talk more about the whole mobile first approach later on, but for now, I just wanna focus on what we're gonna be creating in this series. So this is it right here. This is the final project, the final responsive website, and it's called Cosmo Junkie. It's basically just a dummy portfolio site for a space enthusiast and JavaScript developer. Now, right now we're seeing it in mobile form where the screen size is quite small. And we can see we have a welcome section at the top. Then we have a little portfolio section with some of the different projects. Then we have a skill section with some of the different things this person can do. And then finally at the bottom, we have a contact form and footer. So that all looks nice on a mobile. And as we increase the size of the screen to something like a tablet, it's still going to look very nice. So it's nice and responsive. And then if we go larger and larger until eventually we get to a desktop size, then it still looks good. So it's all fully responsive. It looks good across all different browser sizes and device sizes. Okay. So this website is only going to use HTML and CSS, no JavaScript. So you should already know the basics of HTML and CSS and maybe understand the general idea of responsive design. For example, you know what media queries are and why we use them, even if you might not have that much practice in using them. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is not the best place to start. I've got a whole series on the basics of HTML and CSS and responsive design, and I'm gonna leave a link to that down below so you can check that out first of all. Now, it might also be beneficial if you have a basic idea of what CSS Grid is too, because I'm gonna be using that in this series as well, but do not worry if you don't know what it is. I will be going over the basics as I create the project. And if you ever get stuck with some of the concepts or even want to learn more about CSS Grid, then you can feel free to check out my complete CSS Grid course on this channel as well. And I'll leave that link down below too. So as for course files, I've uploaded them all to GitHub right here at this repo, responsive CSS Grid build. This link is gonna be down below as well. And I've done a separate branch in this repo for every different lesson because every lesson has different code. So if you wanna see the code for lesson seven, for example, you need to go to the branch dropdown, then go to lesson seven, and you can either browse the code right here or you can clone or download a zip folder right here, entirely up to you. But all of the course files for each lesson are up here. So this link, like I say, down below. You also need to choose a text editor. I've gone with Visual Studio Code. It's really nice and it's free. So if you wanna download that, go to code.visualstudio.com and click on this download button right here. Okay then, so I've opened up VS Code and inside I have opened a project folder as well called Responsive CSS Grid Build. This is where I'm gonna create my website. And the first thing I'd like to show you inside VS Code is a little extension that's gonna help us. And this extension is gonna allow us to spin up a local development server and preview our website in a browser with live refresh. So whenever we make a change to our code, it auto refreshes in the browser to show that change. So if you go to this icon at the bottom, that's your extensions. And this is the extension I have installed live server. So if you want to install it, then just go to the search bar at the top, type in live server and press enter, then click on this one right here, live server, and you'll see an install button right there instead of uninstall. And just click on that. You might have to reopen VS Code for it to take effect. So now we have that installed. Let's go back to our file explorer and create, first of all, an index.html file. So what I'm gonna do first of all is type out doc and then tab, and that creates me this little boilerplate. So we have an HTML tag at the top, then a head and then a body as well. Now inside the head, we just have a couple of meta tags and then we have this title down here as well. I'm gonna get rid of this title and instead call this Cosmo Junkie. And then down here in the body, I'm gonna do a P tag 
and I'm just going to say hello ninjas like so and save it. I am also in fact going to create now another file over here called styles.css and we'll leave that blank for now but I wanted to create it so it's there for later and also so I can link to that file inside this index.html file so link and tab that creates us this link tag it's a style sheet and the href is going to be styles.css okay so that's our base HTML file created and linked up to the styles.css file. Now, if we want to preview this in a browser using that package, we can just right click and then go to open with live server. And that should automatically open it in a browser for you. It has done for me over here. We can see, and you'll see this address at the top, 127.0.0.1, then a colon and 5500 forward slash index. So this right here might be localhost on your browser or something slightly different. And this port number might be different as well. So then that is the project set up now. And in the next video, we'll go about creating the HTML template for this website.